Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ro Real Ramina. Uh, so it's been a long time that I come and talk to you guys uh, because you know I was really busy, busy to my some of my projects, and also I have got some good contents which I really want to shoot, but then you know there was some scarcity of the products. Uh, so today I am coming to show you some of the most I mean addictive products which you will find in Manipur which are made in Manipur basically and uh, you will love to you know just go on eating you know and snacking on them so let me introduce you to the uh, very very famous snacks which are made in Manipur uh, which I have been really gorging on and I can't really stop uh, see I'm not a certified food taster or you know I don't have a degree to actually uh, rate them uh, but definitely I'm I, I myself I'm a self acclaimed foodie and also I love to eat lots of the snacks you know, which are uh, savory which are sweet and then all the you know wafers chips and all so I'm very much pretty much addicted to all the you know all the snacks uh, and in India we have so many uh, snacks which are of the multinational uh, you know corporations product like Lay's uh, from PepsiCo uh, and then we also have made in India products like Haldirams, Bujia, Bikaneri, Bujia and all which I have loved all of them uh, but uh, after staying in Manipur for some time uh, you know I have been introduced to a lot of snacks uh, which I already have before also uh, but then some are very very new brands which are doing quite well in the market I see a lot of of them hanging across all the grocery stores and all the you know uh, Kirana stores which are doing pretty well I, I think so uh, and then um, you know uh, so I thought why don't you why don't I review uh, some of them which can really uh, you know be an introduction to many people who don't know about them uh, so for me this is of my personal interest that I, I am bringing all the products which I got now because some of them I have already eaten but I don't get in the market now maybe because of the lockdown but some of these products are readily available uh, across the stores uh, I'm not sure about the online uh, if they have started or not um, so uh, I thought that why not review them and why not introduce them to the world uh, so that you know uh, that some people who doesn't know about this they know also and also as the uh, kind of uh, you know uh, uh, appreciation to all the people who are working behind the brands or behind the products that you know their hard work is really showing off because these are all being like the market I've seen so many of them huh? uh, so one of the brand which we know since the uh, very very I uh, mean uh, since since many years now I think is Tangla brand uh, which they have a lot of varieties of foods uh, like snacks uh, uh, so this is uh, like this is a very recent product which I have seen in their list it's a popcorn product uh, so they, this is just a plain popcorn which they have done a very good marketing uh, you know uh, strategy of packaging it very well uh, so this was just five rupees and uh, which is interesting deal uh, because just for five rupees you snack it on you know on the way or traveling or do anything right and then the so I'm going to show you uh, mainly of Skangla product first and I will come to the other brands uh, so then if from the Kangla brands these are uh, these are puff rice basically these are all made of puff rice made of rice uh, many of the products are made of rice and this is a puff rice which has been you know kind of put some sugar salt and peanuts and make an interesting one so i really love this product which is quite an interesting uh, one uh, but these are deep fry i think um, these are also uh these are also puff rice uh, this is which may be too sweet because i can see coconut also uh so i've already eaten all of them but by the, seeing the packaging i got confused which one is the one i ate but yeah so these are little sweet one and a normal one and these are very uh normal also not very sweet this is the normal one and these are good for people who really want to snack it on and then you know can't just don't want to do pile on the calories and all uh, so uh, these are really good ones uh, from Kangla I really loved it I'll also show you if you really want to see it I can show you by tearing it off but let me just go through 
uh, yeah and then uh, yeah yes this is this is very addictive this is this is really addictive this is um, I think this is one of my favorite from Kangla products uh, which I have eaten in the larger uh, packaging also I think yeah so uh, this is called Kangla Gujia garlic mixture uh, so it's taste uh, it is a savory and the very spicy one and it has a taste of garlicky taste which is amazing i find it you know because you can put it on the salads then you can put it you know uh, maybe uh, in your sprout salads you know and this is very interesting uh, i find it and so i bought a packet you know because i was so impressed and these are all five to ten rupees uh, per package uh, so uh, this is quite good deal if you really want to have it rice also this is quite uh, addictive in that way also because you know when you have dal or you know some subjis you know and you don't want to go on to land to make another food then you can just have it with the dal or rice also i love this with the rice basically uh, so this is really interesting uh, this is one of my favorite from kangla this is garlicky mixture uh, so you guys should taste also. It's a very interesting and uh, now let me come to uh, Banana chips, you know banana chips. I have seen three four brands which are doing quite well uh, I don't have my favorite brands here. I mean not favorite not just favorite, but I have eaten the one uh, I don't know it was from some brand called some 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 dream B or something like that I forgot but I haven't seen that in the market now, uh, which I have eaten previously. Uh, so um, I was eating this cams, uh, which is quite interesting, which is plain, which is nice, uh, very nice. Uh, I mean, just like you get in Bangalore or Chennai, uh, these are all the uh, standard banana chips, you know, which you get uh, across the uh, other parts of India. Basically, in the South India, they're very good. So. Uh, it gives uh, this one gives them a very good competition on that uh, this banana chips by KMUS KMUS I don't know how to pronounce that yeah so KMUS uh, banana chips these are this I think this banana is basically a typical uh, Manipuri banana plantain which you would call it uh, so the plantain which is I mean which we use in the making of banana chips uh, so the quality of the banana seems to be a little bit of local variety to me uh, so uh, because uh, I know that we also grow bananas so I know that flavor uh, but this is not that bad as I'm saying but 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 I think this is quite better uh, but once you have this also it becomes a little bit you know you need to have a habit of eating it so uh, I find it I mean like if I give this a four out of five I'll give this 3.5 out of four Five, right so uh, this is not bad I'm not telling this is bad but this is really this is this is really good you know uh, so this, this, this can give a very good competition to other brands in India so that that is what I mean uh, yeah so I really love uh, you know about this brand 